Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Ako Effect in the building again. In today's video, guys, I am going to be um giving you something educational. Do I say educational or do I say informational? Okay, anyhow you put it, I am going to be giving you uh, information. I believe so much is going to help you out. Alright, I believe so much in this information because I have recommended this to a lot of people and it has actually helped them out. I've recommended it to one, two, three, four persons and it has helped them out. Their feedback has been positive. Now, this is something somebody recommended to me. I was actually skeptical about it. But I said, okay, there's no harm in, <laughs> in trying. Let me just try this. And when I tried this, it actually worked for me. Seriously, it worked for me. So, I I decided, that, okay, let me share it to the world. Okay, so, uh, uh, what I'm going to, let me just give you the intro of what I will be talking about in this video. Now, I'm going to be giving you home remedies for typhoid. Like, it, these are things we have in the house, but we don't really know that they are actually very useful. They are medicines for some uh maybe sicknesses or some things we are suffering from in life all right so in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can match some ingredients you can match some things together that you know perfectly well you know very well about it that it will help you to cure or be a cure for your typhoid that will help you uh, it's a medicine for typhoid. So if you know anybody that's suffering from typhoid, that has been suffering from typhoid for a very long time, or it's the person is always suffering from typhoid because you know there are people that there are some things they don't eat because each time they eat that thing, typhoid just comes. All right, like we have people that eat like some people they eat gari, some people they eat cassava, some people they eat a lot of things because they are afraid that immediately they take this, it's going to just bring up their typhoid and they are just going to be suffering, so they stay away from it. All right, so I am that's why I'm here in this video today to give you some tips or some ingredients that you match together you put them together forgive me i'm not a medical student so i don't know how to put these words together all right so anyhow it is just get the information all right so i'm going to be giving you these ingredients that you match together it's working for me i'm going to show you practical and i will also drink it so that you understand that this is something that i'm really really serious about okay so that is what i'll be talking about in today's video giving you ingredients on how you like you can merge them together and then you cure or you treat your typhoid but before i start i want to first of all thank each and every one of you watching me right now thank my viewers my subscribers and for those that are watching me for the very first time this is Ako effect and this channel last year this channel was all about educational stuff i had two channel Ako effect and Ako event 237 but this year i decided to merge them together so i can have more time to focus on the channel bring more videos use so it can actually entertain and help you and i all right because sometimes i do watch my own videos and get a lot of sense from it okay so if you know you haven't subscribed to this channel please 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 do me a favor and hit that subscribe button because i have a lot a lot of interesting videos coming up you wouldn't want to miss so all you need to do is hit that subscribe button so that each time i bring educational informational entertaining videos you are going to be hit up by youtube so you rush and watch okay guys so without wasting much of your time we will go straight into the practicals of today all right which i will be showing you how you can bring these things together merge them together and then drink it to treat your typhoid okay but before i start first thing first what i want to tell you is that if you're sick don't assume that you have typhoid and you just go and get this medicine because I've recommended it to a lot of people and it has worked for them. So you can't just come and tell me, oh, I tried this, it didn't work out. It means you were not sick of typhoid. You had another thing. Because so many people that I recommended it to are people that actually went to the hospital. And they are, when I called them and they were like, oh, I'm not feeling fine. I was like, what's wrong with you? They said they are just from the hospital and they said they have typhoid. I said, okay, let me recommend something to you. Try it out. And they tried it out. It worked for them because their lab test showed that they had this typhoid. So don't just sit and assume that you have it you can actually be suffering from something and it's maybe it's malaria and you assume that it's typhoid this is no this medicine will not work for you if you're having malaria it's for people that have typhoid okay so what i recommend is first thing first if you're sick get to the hospital do your lab test and be sure that it is typhoid that is disturbing you be sure okay you have to get to the hospital get the lab test done so that you should know that it is typhoid don't go and take it when you know you have malaria and you feel it's going to work and then you spoil 
the, the name of the medicine or you spoil the medicine and discourage others from taking it. No. Make sure you get to the hospital. Do your lab test. When it shows that this is typhoid, okay, you can actually take this. So I will just beg of you to share this video to as many people as possible so that people that are suffering from typhoid or are always suffering from typhoid this is actually going to help them it has it helped me a lot it helped me i was skeptical about it when they told me about it. i was like what kind of medicine is that what kind of i took like two days before i said let me just try no harm in trying i tried it took it for one week and i was okay like seriously each time i just feel this stuff i just like once Sometimes in a month, I'll just take like two times in a month, and I'm very okay. Like, I'm taking this month, I'm taking it. I took it yesterday, and I'm taking it today again. So, I decided that let me do a video about it and show you exactly what I'm taking. How maybe some of you are suffering for me right now. I believe this video is going to be very, very helpful to you. So, like I said, first thing first, make sure you get to the hospital, do your lab test, and be sure that it is typhoid that is disturbing you. Then, assume, do not assume. Get to the hospital and be sure. All right, without wasting much of your time, let's get straight into the practicals. All right, after you have done your lab test, you're sure that you have typhoid. Let's get into the practicals. All right. So, guys, as you can see, what we have here, we have Guinness, we have sardine, and we have eggs. All right. So, those are the three things we are going to be using in order to make this medicine. All right, so we have Guinness. You have to buy a Guinness. You have sardine and you have eggs. Okay, now look at the sardine. You're not going to be eating the fish. You're not going to be using the fish that is in the sardine. I'm sure some people will be thinking like, how would they use that fish? How would they use that fish? You're not using the fish that is in that sardine. You're using the oil, the oil, the oil that is inside that sardine. All right, so now what you would do now is... Let me show you what you do now is you're going to uh, break your egg. You break one egg. You break one egg. You put it in a glass. When you break one egg, you put it in a glass. Then you remove that oil that is in that sardine. Look at what I'm doing. You remove the, open the sardine. Move the oil that is uh, in the sardine. Look at what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, look at what I'm doing now. I'm going to remove that oil. You don't need to remove it all because like this sardine I have here, I'm going to use it like two or three times. Okay. You use like two. You can buy a sardine like this. You buy one sardine like this, use it like two or three times. Remove the oil there you use to keep... You can remove the yeah sad, after that you can remove that sardine fish and eat, but make sure you keep the oil because it is the oil that you are using. Okay, so I have I'm done with that. I put the oil. Then what I do is now I up I stir I I mix it, mix it very well so that yes so that the the everything should be merged together. The egg should dissolve. Mix it very well. The egg that's the egg and the oil of the sardine. As you can see okay now what you do now is you add open your guinness and then you add half glass so look at what i'm doing add half glass of it yes that's it you keep the guinness when you buy one guinness it's one small guinness you can actually use it like three times you can actually use it like three times each time you use one egg you remove your sardine oil you put in the afternoon just like that so you, you, you are not going to drink all, all the Guinness. You just put it half glass. You put your one egg and then you put on your your oil. Don't put all the oil because you can use the oil. That when you, The oil from one sardine, you can use it twice. Okay. So you can see the way I've mixed it. Okay. After that, I've mixed it. Then I will... So I've mixed it. So I'm ready to... It's ready for me to drink now. You can see. I've mixed it. So guys, that is just it. You mix sardine oil, Guinness, half glass Guinness, and one egg. Okay, what happens is actually you're using but country eggs, guys. You know what we call country eggs, right? Country eggs. But if you don't see the country egg because it actually scares, country egg gives blood. That's why it's advisable to use country eggs. But if you don't see the country egg, you can use the normal egg. There's no problem. In this video, I'm using but the normal egg because I did not see the country eggs. 
all right so you can actually use the normal egg if you don't see the country egg but if you see the country egg there is good so you can see the way i'm drinking it guys so you mix it like that you drink it one week two weeks i tell you go back to the hospital and do your lab test and see if you still have typhoid again guys this is very very helpful i'm telling you you can try this out if you know anybody that is really suffering from this you can tell the person to try this out and then give you the feedback it's going to be positive i've recommended it to a lot of people and it has actually worked for them someone recommended it to me as well it works for me so i believe it's also going to work for you all right so so that is just it guys so if you know anybody that is suffering from this please please guys you have to share this video so that it can help someone all right yeah you can see the way i'm drinking it it has been working for me like in a month i just make it like twice i don't just i don't wait because the things that we eat sometimes we don't even know what we eat the kind of water we drink and so on and so forth it disturbs us so what i do is in a month like i'll not even just wait to to fall sick i'll just rush and get my stuff and get my guinness get my 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 egg and then get my sardine and then i mix it i drink yesterday i drank it and today i drank um drinking it and i said okay let me do a video in order to show someone this can actually help somebody all right so please guys share these videos this video can actually help somebody going through type i'm telling you if you know anybody that is suffering from meat or, or always going through it just tell the person to try this it's going to it's the person is going to give you a positive feedback all right guys so that is just it guys thank you guys so so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i'll be bringing a lot of educative videos i'll be bringing a lot of educative informational and entertaining videos so guys please just subscribe to this channel because i'll be bringing more videos that will be very very helpful to you all right so make sure you subscribe to this channel stay the comment at the comment section and like the video yes guys so that each time i upload new video youtube is actually going to send you a notification and you rush and watch all right guys so thank you so so much for watching guys i really do appreciate your coming to watch thanks and please please do have a blessed day thank you